Yeah, what are your thoughts on VAR and, and is it being overused? Well, originally when it when it was first mooted, I thought, oh, that's a really good idea. You know, I thought it was going to make the game fairer for everybody. Mm-hmm. That was that was kind of why I was in favour of it because I always felt like you know I was playing at one of the smaller teams in the Premier League and we never used to get yeah the big decisions. You know, we never used to get penalties at Old Trafford when we should have done. We didn't get penalties at Anfield when we should have done. Um, and I just felt like, okay, if the ref is going to get a chance to see this over again, mm. this is going to start evening things out a little bit in terms of you know not referees not favouring the bigger teams. Um, and make no two points about it, they did. Um, mm-hmm. And but it's it's human nature. You're refereeing at Old Trafford and you've got sixty thousand people screaming at you to give a penalty, and, like, and there's like two thousand in the corner. <laughs> Who are you going to give the free kick to? Yeah, you know, Fergie, nobody wants to be hated by sixty thousand people and Fergie really, on the sidelines yeah, yeah. having a go at you. Yeah. Um, however, I did, I did when it first came out before it even started. I mooted the idea that two two things: one that I thought there should be an ex player in the room with them to not not mm-hmm. to make the decisions, but to for advice to lean on in certain situations where the player will kind of have a better idea of what's gone on than the, than the referee might who hasn't been in that situation. Yeah. Um, so that was the first thing. And, and I always felt like right from the start, the group of referees that are in the VAR room should not be connected to the referees that are on the pitch. Right. So I think there's conflicts of interest going on. You know, if you've got a guy out on the pitch and his mate is in the VAR room, yeah. his mate ain't going to want to make it look a fool out on the pitch. Yeah. So he's going to do everything he can to help him out and not make him look bad. Yeah. And that's a conflict of interest because he should be completely removed from that. He should be looking at the incidents and not having that conflict of interest in his head going, oh, if I if I make this decision, that's going to make him look really bad. Yeah. Uh, and so I always felt like that group of referees in the VAR should have been from a, from a load of retired refs who weren't connected to the current bunch that are out on the field. Yeah. And then that would take away that little conflict of interest. Definitely. Um, so that was kind of the two things that I thought should have happened at the start. 